About five years ago, I had the question of whether I was going to understand and approach the new procedures that are available in cosmetic dermatology. I was mature in my career and I wanted a new challenge. I thought that it was such an exciting area that I thought I'd get into it. So I spent a year and a half just training before I started doing anything. Going to conferences, trying different lasers, I finally picked a laser. I really got comfortable with learning what my laser could do. And I integrated as much as possible the practice of the laser techniques, Botox, uh, fillers, some of the cosmeceuticals, which is what we call the different lotions that include Retin-A and vitamin C, uh, some bleaching creams that can help uh, fix up your skin texture and contour laxity. We can really treat many of these issues now so much better than we could that I said, it's time for me to do this. When people come to our office and they're hoping for cosmetic uh, services. I really want people to know that they're going to be treated as a single person, uh, that they're going to get high quality care. I want everybody to know that we've got the technical expertise that's required for their safety and comfort. That said, we also want to focus on being as nice as possible. We like all the experience to be pleasant. Some of them involve needles and a lot of people don't like needles. We focus a lot on comfort. When we first see a patient, we have to get to know you. There's no way around that. We offer a consultation. We always spend half an hour with somebody. We find out whatever issues people are concerned about. Uh, we spend our time. We do a little bit of planning. Uh, you get a sense of what people are like. We make sure that they are comfortable with us because uh, they're putting themselves to a certain extent in our hands and it's a collaborative process. We assess the problem, well, we like to take good quality photographs ahead of time, we like to uh, document what's going on. We'll develop a treatment plan. Treatment plans don't come out of a book, they don't come out of a conference. Uh, you of course are going to have experience, you're going to have some science behind it. You have to match the problem with the need. First of all, what the patient really is concerned about. Not everybody comes in with the same concerns, and not every problem has to be dealt with the same way. That's one of the challenges. We have sometimes a variety of uh, options that we can give them. Many of the procedures that we offer at Reflections are very low downtime or even no downtime sorts of procedures. One of the easiest things for somebody who cares about the texture, tone, and presentation of their skin is to start with something like Botox, which is, uh, despite some of the uh, fears, quite safe. It's an affordable procedure. It's a nice entry-level way uh, to get comfortable with some of the concepts of cosmetic dermatology. Every situation that we face has to be dealt with on a one-on-one -on -one basis. People don't come out uh, of factories and they have different expectations. They have vastly different structure in, uh, of their skin and the, and, the, and the shape and they are coming to our office at different ages and it's really kind of fun to sort of problem solve and uh, think things through and talk to the patients and interact with them. There really is no cookie cutter approach ever in medicine. If you open a practice you might think you're going to get patients but one after another they're going to come in as people. And once you start dealing with them as a person at a time, their concerns, who they are, whatever is unique about them, you can help improve them so much better that way once you know that they're people and deal with them as individuals. It's a nice way to work.